care of. The fact of the matter is that what was supposed to happen, and again, we are not partisan, the DECA was not partisan, but it appears as though the process, and that's what, that's, that's what nations, that's what a democracy is. That's the greatness of America, is the process. It's not the people, it's the process. It's not the result, it's the process. How we, how our government works, how our elections work. And the process of this election in the 2023 Nigerian pres presidential elections appears to be fundamentally flawed. We believe, Nadeko believes, that the February 25 to 26, 2023 election the results, the hasty announcement of the results, are fundamentally at odds with the Nigerian election laws. And as Dr. Ogebi said very clearly, they didn't just violate rules, they violated their own laws. INEC glorified their efforts to make this the cleanest, the purest, the most transparent and fair election in Nigerian history, in African history. And yet, they violated every single fundamental tenet and every single law. They instituted the bimodal voter accreditation system. You've heard about that, the BVAS. All that is, make no mistake about it, there's a lot on the internet that seems to people want to believe that when you voted with the BVAS that that recorded your vote and your vote was sent somewhere and it went to a server and it was tabulated and somehow Tanubu or the APC were able to hijack that electronic signal. That's not what happened. It was more pernicious than that. It was more old-fashioned than that. All the Beavis does was gave you two modes of, of identification, both your card, you put your card, your voting card, your PVC in, and it also did your fingerprint and face identification. But it failed. And the reason Beavis was important is so that people couldn't vote more than once. Vote early, vote often. The reason it's important is so people could vote, could not vote that had fake cards. And on the issue of the, the, uh, the PVC cards, INEC announced, this is INEC themselves, said that there were 87.2 million PVC cards collected. That was out of 93 million registered voters. So approximately 6 million people were registered. They just didn't bother to get their voting card. No one knows why. It just happens. But what's fascinating is, if you consider it true that 87.2 million people had PVC voting cards and could have voted, the declared winner of this election received 8.7 million votes. Now, out of 87 million, the math's not real hard. That means that Mr. Tanubu got 10% of the vote. He will be ruling the wealthiest economy in Africa with a mandate of 10% of the population. That's extraordinary. Something is seriously wrong. Something is seriously wrong. Additionally, we believe that what has to happen and why we're here today, and Nadeko is leading the charge, we believe that INEC has to prove itself. It has to prove the results it announced were true and were real. There are 176,600 po 176, polling stations. That's a lot of polling stations. INEX rules required each polling station to collect the votes, count the votes, and they do it the old-fashioned way. They get the paper votes, they count them, they put them in stacks for each of the primary candidates. They were to gather those results, publish the local results, and then transmit the results, and ultimately they would go to Abuja and be certified. Well, what happened was is they published some of the results early on and then they took them down. And so what they have is something that looks a little bit like this, scribbling, when it used to look like this, where it was written. Someone didn't like the results. That's what appears to have happened. Dr. Ogebe observed it happening. So what we have is vote rigging, vote buying, and bribery. So despite INEX efforts, nothing good happened. And we're back to the same old thing, the same old efforts. So what do we do? What do we do in the United States? What do we do as members of the diaspora? What do we do as international attorneys or international law folks? What do we do to ensure democracy can thrive, that the promise of 1960 
can come true again, hopefully. Well, we are asking that INAC throw open the curtains and let the full light of truth come in to prove the transparency and the veracity of the results they've announced. If the results are true, they should be able to prove it. It is absolutely not extraordinary to ask them to prove it. Show me your math. We've all gone to school. Show me your math. You've got a number. Show me how you got to that number. Prove what you did. There can be no debate that the initial investigations indicate that they were savaged. The rules were savaged. The rights of the electorate were savaged. It was polluted by blatant and widespread corruption. And as Dr. Lloyd said, the four horsemen of democracy's doom, bribery, intimidation, insecurity, and vote rigging, appeared to trot and run roughshod all over the nation. They were harnessed to skew the results. We, Nadeko, call upon the people of Nigeria to act peacefully, but to demand that proof be provided to them, that INEC prove the results they've announced. We also call upon the international community to join together with the Nigerian judiciary in a concerted effort to condemn and set aside the hastily announced results and instead proceed with the solemn seriousness this deserves. Again, one of the world's great nations is at peril here, continues to be at peril here. We need to make sure we don't continue to turn our back on Nigeria. And what we're asking for is very simple. Prove to us. Prove. Nadeko says prove to us that if there is a, if there is a Nigeria and there is a democracy in Nigeria, that it was arrived at lawfully and in accordance with the rule of law. The continuation of power by the ruling party is a wholesale disenfranchisement of Nigeria without more. That is little more than a dictatorship. And it's a new dictatorship, but it is nonetheless a dictatorship because it's imposed apparently against the will of the people. And we believe the will of the people of Nigeria must be preserved.